Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I came up with this look right here. It gives me um, Thanksgiving vibes. It's a really super easy look. Um, I honestly just use like two, two shades on my eyes and then the glitter. If you would like to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. So for today's video, um, quiero hacer otro look usando glitter. Pero esta vez no voy a usar um, loose glitter. Um, I'm going to be using the MBM Glitter Palette. This palette is from the school I go to. Um, it looks like this. And I feel like using like... I don't know. I feel like using like the white color. Or like an orange I don't know, maybe I'm going to stick with the white and maybe put it like in the first inner part of my lid, on my eye. Um, something like that. And I'm also going to be using a shade from this Laura Lee um, palette. It's super colorful. I'm thinking like maybe the yellow or like the orange. I don't know. Um, I'm not really sure what kind of look I'm going for today. Because I'm also going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to be using more like of the nudes and browns from this palette. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing for today. So, yeah, I'm going to start off with the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just going to start off with the color Pukey. It's this color right here. Excuse my crusty nails. but And I'm just going to be blending that on my crease. And I'll be using this color as my transition. And I'm just going to apply it everywhere and blend. I'm going to take the Laura Lee um, palette. And it's, I think it's called Party Animal. And I'm going to use this orange right here. And apply that directly into my crease using a smaller fluffy brush I'm noticing that this color is very pigmented um, and I really like it, it's really nice I'll be applying this on my outer corner and blending it outward to flicking it out Me gustaría hacer un video en español, like puro español, but no sé um, de cómo se dice crease en Spanish, no sé cómo se dice muchas palabras en español, like así que tengan que ver con maquillaje, no sé bien. Y ay, se me hace muy difícil. También no sé cómo explicarme muy bien tampoco, so por eso también se me hace más complicado. No más quiero hacer el video en español porque mi mami así que dice y dice que por qué no hago un video en español para que ella pueda entender. Y I'm just like, oh my god, it's really hard. Pero también cuando trato de hablar puro español, se me salen las palabras en inglés, como así, así sin querer queriendo. Ok, no voy a hacer un cut crease ni nada, solamente voy a agarrar el glitter, el blanco. Este... Oh. Este de aquí. Voy a mojar un poquito mi brocha con su spray. Ok, so lo que hice, I went ahead and I grabbed this sh third shade and I put it towards the outer part of my eye. Then I grabbed this, um, silvery one and I applied that in the beginning of my eye and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to grab some of the white one that I had set y lo voy a poner on my inner corner una brocha más chiquita para poder hacer eso y lo voy a agarrar más del color anaranjado y voy a poner más color aquí por fuera Y 
Iba a poner un color um, café ahí afuera, pero no... Quiero este, este look que sea puro, like, el puro color orange. Aunque okay, la verdad creo que me quedó más mejor mi ojo without doing um, a cut crease. It looks way better from my previous glitter video. For eyelashes, voy a usar estas que son de um, um, Amor Us. Y estos los compré en una tienda de ropa en el mall de Ontario. Y estas son mis favoritas. Son um, Wispy Lashes. ¿Ven? ¿No se ven? No sé. Ok, pero me voy a aplicar estos bien rapidito. Necesito... Voy a poner el primer, este es de Smashbox Photo Finish Se llama Smashbox Photo Finish Y este es el que voy a estar usando No sé si siempre uso este porque la verdad es mi favorito También me encanta usar um, el spray de Smashbox could look really nice with like a maybe like a wing eyeliner um but i don't really like to wear eyeliner so this is how i'm gonna leave it for foundation i'm gonna be using the maybelline super stay foundation and it's a little dark so this is in the color um 310 sun beige it's a little dark so i'm gonna mix a little bit of the makeup revolution foundation stick It looks like this and this is in the color um f6 i applied that color as if it was um where the concealer goes and the darker one i'm gonna apply it where i would cream contour and to blend all of this i'm gonna use the morphe um morphe the for M439 brush and I'm just gonna blend this out no sé como se mira el color en camera pero no se ve tan mal por como lo veo yo ahora voy a usar Makeup Revolution Concealer brush um mi esponja de Real Techniques y la voy a mojar poquito estar usando el Makeup Revolution um, Banana Powder y voy a aplicar eso con la misma esponjita, esponjita que acabo de usar Y entre más se deje uno este polvo, más, um, más dura el maquillaje, pero si eres piel reseca, no te lo dejes mucho tiempo porque te puede, te puede hacer ver patchy. I'll be using this bronzer. Um, I also got it from Ipsy a long time ago, but I don't really use it. So I'm gonna use it. It looks like this. It's a uh, Lisa Frank times Glamour Dolls, and it's a matte bronzer. I'm just gonna apply that on my cheeks. Oh, my cheekbones. I'm gonna dust that powder off. Because I feel like I'm getting a little too dry. Using this Morphe little pointed brush. It's the R3 brush. And I'm just going to use it to pack it in. And dust away at the same time. Really quick, I'm going to get that same orange color. 
and I'm gonna apply it at the bottom of my lash line and wing it outwards now for blush I'm gonna be using this one by Tarte and it's called Fiesty and I'm just gonna apply a little bit like always And voy a poner mascara abajo de mis um, pestañas, de mis pestañas de ojo. Ok, ahora para highlight voy a estar usando este de Colourpop. Ay, no se ve. Y voy a aplicarlo con un Morphe brush en mis cheekbones. Me voy a en el gallo acá atrás. I'm gonna highlight my nose and my cupid blue with the same highlight. Ok, para mi lipstick voy a estar usando este by Dose of Colors. Y se ya es el color 107. Y voy a ponerme este lip gloss de Color Pop que se llama Saddle Up. Este me lo voy a aplicar arriba de este. I actually like the lip on its own. How it looks. Um, it's something super totally different. But I'm gonna just dry a little bit and then apply the lip gloss on. Okay, so the lip color changed a little bit. I don't know, I feel like it looked really white on camera, but in person it looks really nice actually i really like it something a little different on the lip you know changing it up i'm gonna finish up the look by applying the um seal the deal flower long lasting spray and this is gonna be all for this video i hope you guys really enjoyed um i ended up really liking the look i espero que no les haya molestado que Traté de hablar po un poco de español um, throughout the video. Um, si les gustaría ver un video en español, like, totalmente en español, sin hablar inglés, um, déjenme saber en los comentarios o uh, mándenme mensaje, mensaje por Instagram. También like, va a ser como un challenge para mí porque sí es muy difícil um, pronunciar muchas palabras que tengan que ver con maquillaje en español, pero trataré... If you guys really want to watch that, let me know. Um, if you guys are not subscribed and you watch my videos, please make sure that you're subscribed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Okay, guys, to be honest, siempre no me gustó that color. Like, I felt like it didn't complement the eye look. So I'm going to actually use a dark, dark color. Este es by Colourpop y se llama Limbo. And, yeah. Feels like more like a Thanksgiving look because of the orange and the brown. And to be honest, that's what I was going for. Okay, what I see, I feel like this is me now. <laughs>